Hey, welcome back, guys. Mm -hmm. So let's see how we can actually read our groups that we created so we can see them here. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. Why would we know that we own this group? Well, our query should contain, first of all, the proper uh, user ID. Ooh. Yeah, so maybe one of you had gotten this one. We needed more than this. What we needed was the uh, owner right here. Mm -hmm. So we do have type, we do have the ID. Now, this is a randomly generated ID, so there's actually no way of us knowing. Um, hmm, this is very interesting here. So we need one extra uh, column here for us to add our own um, user ID. Yes? Mm -hmm. So we do indeed already have the user ID part here. So maybe let's create one that is a group ID. Now, instead of, um, instead of using a group ID, like I said, we have to think a little bit in the future. So if we're going, we're going to create pages as well, those pages will need IDs and they will need owners. Uh, to, they will need us to know who the owner is. Mm -hmm. So I think to put a uh, an owner uh, column is much better. So let's do just that. I'll go to user ID, I'll click here. Uh, sorry, I'm saying I will put this after user ID rather. So click go, but the order doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to say owner. Who owns this? Big integer. Save. Mm -hmm. Now we definitely need an index over here. So I will click on index so that we can have an owner index. Ah, very good. That's because we will be using it to, to do stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. So sadly, we have to delete my first group. Delete. Goodbye. Okie dokie. Let's come back here and let's create a new one. But before we do that, let's go back to our create group situation here. So, of course, we're going to need to know who uh, is the owner of this thing. And this is uh, easy peasy. Where did I put my session data here? Where was I looking? Hmm. Where does user ID come from? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, right there, I gotcha. Okay, so let's copy this. Copy. Let's go to uh, create group. Where are we? Group class, R right there. Uh -huh. All right, so let's create owner here. I own this like that. Very good. So all we need to do is uh, let's put owner right at the end because it doesn't really matter where it is as long as it's the same spot here and there. So of course, I will convert this into a variable as required. Okay, good, good, good. Now, Owner here is important because at least it uh, helps us to identify um, who who owns, uh, who created the group. But keep in mind that uh, this group is going to have several admins. So we're going to have another table for admins and they're going to act like owners as well with different, uh, 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 what do you call this, uh, rankings. So we'll see how we'll do that uh, in a later video. But so far, so good. Let's create the group again, because it's uh, gone now. And I just wanted to acknowledge that I own the group. So click there, 
and let's come back here and browse. Okay, so now that we have our, uh, we have the recognition there and the credit, uh, this is good. We can actually read from this without problems. Mm -hmm. Okay, so whenever you are Google, uh, reading from this and you want to get only profiles, you have to make sure that you type and type is equal to profile. Otherwise you get groups as well and that can get a little bit weird because some of these columns are empty. Okay, so to keep that in mind. So let's uh, shake that off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so looking good. So now I just need to go to where I am reading the data, which is profile content groups right here. And I want to be able to read only uh, the content that I need. So this is the location right here where we are we are getting what we need. So this is the user class. Mm -hmm. But instead, we want to get the group class, don't we? So let's go back to the group class and let's create one function that will allow us to read from groups. Mm -hmm. Now, we can do that by copying what we already have in the user.php because it's reading from there, practically from the same table, right? So there's a get user right there. Mm -hmm. Get friends. Let's see if there's something that gets more than just one. Nope, doesn't seem like. Nope, get data. Select all from users where user ID is good. Ah, this looks like more of my candidate. So let me copy this and let me copy. Mm -hmm. And let's go to group class. We're going to put this one at the very end. Yeah. Public function get groups. Maybe let's let's make it more personal, like get my groups. Mm -hmm. And we don't need the ID because we already know who we are, but why not? We can leave it there. So instead I will say owner. Who is owner? Get my groups. Mm -hmm. And select all from users where, not user ID, where owner is equal to ID and type B group like that. So let's remove the limit one because we'll have more than one of these guys. And instead of returning one result, we're just going to return everything. So I'll just paste that here. Remove this other line. Mm -hmm. Sure, I think that's about it. So get my groups owner, copy. And let's go to profile content groups. Yes, yes. So we do need the user class, or do we? Hmm. Let's wait for a second here. There's the post class. We are not dealing in posts anymore. So instead we will say group class here. Group class is equal to new group. Uh -huh. Great. So now uh, wherever we are saying uh, post, we'll use group. And what was the function name? Uh, yes. Yes. So let's look at, uh, let me come back here for a second and copy this guy right here. Uh -huh. Because, yeah, actually, just to be less complicated, I can use this user data right here. So I'm just going to duplicate this for a second and do that. It's okay for me to use user data here because, oh, no, look what I did. Look what I did. Where is the group get my 
groups right there. That's the one I'm looking for. So back here, paste. And I want to use this guy here and put that guy over there. Let's remove the duplicate. And that's about it. Okay. So group, friend row, get user. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Let me refresh. Ooh, undefined variable ID, online 108. In the classes, 108, where is this? Oh, sorry, I changed it to owner, so my bad. Mm -hmm. Looky there. So now we have my first group and last scene. This is not important information, but at least we have something that resembles a group. So the only thing we need to do is change what we show here and change what we show here. Okay, so I will see you in the next video.